Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We go behind the scenes to see how 3D printed steaks are made, as well as an insight into the special techniques used in producing 3D food printing. Who doesn't love a good steak? I know I do. And so do billions of people around the world, except vegetarians of course. Because of vegan based diets, and a bunch of other reasons, Food engineers have come up with creative ways to alter animal-based diets so that they do not have the side effects of animal-based meals and can be eaten and enjoyed by vegans as well. Some of these alterations involve making plant-based alternatives or the newly improved 3D food printing. So just like there are plant-based chicken nuggets, there are also 3D printed steaks, which can be vegan friendly. If you wonder how these are made, you're about to get some answers. I know I need some. The 21st century has ushered in a lot of crazy inventions, but who would have thought that it would get to a point where foods are eaten straight out of printers? For the past couple of years, there has been a lot of interest in finding ways to abolish the intense livestock farming that is currently happening on our planet. And while there have been a lot of ideas, the most successful ones have gained popularity fast. One of them is 3D food printing, which involves using a printer and a food ink to provide an exact copy of a kind of food that would otherwise have been gotten from a bunch of slaughtered animals. Since 3D food printing was introduced in 2016, some kinds of foods have been produced using this technology and some of them include pancakes, burgers, sausages, chocolate, and now steaks have been added to this list. 3D printed steaks have become increasingly popular over the past few years, so much so that they are exclusively prepared in some fancy restaurants worldwide. At this rate, cows will no longer be the most important source of beef, and the practice of livestock farming will no longer be as important as it is now. How are these 3D printed steaks produced, you might ask? First, it is important to understand that 3D printed steaks can be made using different raw materials. And depending on which one is used, the steaks can be either vegan or animal based. The broad overview of how this system works is that a food printer is programmed with the diagram of what the printed steak should look like. And using this model, the printer builds the meat fiber by fiber until a chunk of meat is formed. So, in the case of printed steak, what is the food ink made of? First, let us start with the non-vegan model of printed meat. Before this kind of steak is made, its nutritional value is considered, which determines the materials used to print the meat. Generally, good meat contains muscle fibers, lipids, and myoglobin a protein component that gives it its bright red color. For artificially made meat to look and taste as close as possible to the real thing, it has to include all of these components, which is where bioengineers come in. The bioengineers extract bovine stem cells from a cow or chicken egg, and these cells are cultured in a lab until they differentiate and begin to produce the cells of interest. These special cells are muscle fibers, and fat-producing cells which are observed until a huge mass of each kind is produced. The muscle fibers are collected and put into a plastic tube, which is placed into the food printer. And the fat extracted from the lipid producing cells is also extracted in this manner. According to the design programmed into the printer, the muscle fibers are pushed out through a nozzle and layered on each other until the desired pattern is achieved. This process is known as extrusion. Meanwhile, the liquid components such as myoglobin juice and fat are sprayed on the meat as it is formed using a process known as inkjet printing. However, this process does not occur as randomly as it sounds. The fat, for example, is applied strategically between the layered fibers, giving the steak its marble appearance, which is largely preferred by top chefs. Apart from adding to the appearance of the meat, Marble steak is generally known to have better taste and texture, so this step is quite important, especially since the 3D printed meat is not supposed to taste so different from natural meat. The entire printing process could take between 1 to 3 hours, depending on the steak's complexity. 
Like regular beef, printed meat still has to be cooked before being eaten. And even though they are not vegan, this type of beef still has a couple of benefits compared to regular meat. Since it is made from cultured stem cells, the nutritional benefits of this kind of meat are more and they pose less risk to people with cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, obesity, etc. If you're a vegan and prefer plant-based diets, there is also a kind of printed steak that you'd be interested in. For vegan printed meat, the food ink is made from a mixture of different plants or plant-based components, including legumes extracted from plant protein, coconut oil, fruit and vegetable dyes, and many others. Several establishments worldwide are into this part of 3D printing, and the ingredient combination for each is pretty unique. Up until 2021, no vegan 3D printed steaks were made 100% from plants until a scientist in Spain made it happen. In his small lab in Spain, Italian bioengineer Giuseppe Schionti managed to print the world's first vegan steak. Despite its actual components, this meat has the look and texture of raw meat. But how was Gionti able to pull this off? The prototype meat was made from ground rice, pea proteins, algae fibers, and beetroot juice to make the mixture red. The paste is fed into a tube placed inside the 3D printer and then pushed out through the nozzle. Similar to the extrusion process we described earlier, the machine prints out the thick paste as thin fibers stacked on each other and it takes about 20 to 40 minutes to print one steak. The steak produced by Schionti's lab has been inspected by representatives from the Culinary Institute of Barcelona, and characteristics such as taste, texture, physical appearance, and juiciness are examined, not to mention the nutritional benefits of the meat. Since the technology has not been perfected yet, this type of meat is not yet readily available. However, any kind of 3D printed meat can be found in gourmet restaurants, especially in developed countries. Due to the high prospect of this project, so many bioengineering companies have invested millions of dollars into ensuring that 3D printed meat is an available alternative to regular meat. Redefine Meat, a plant-based meat manufacturer in Israel, has been able to create 3D printed beef flank, printed tenderloin, strip loin, lamb flank, and several other animal products using this technology. As of 2021, the company was able to produce 40 kilograms of printed meat per hour, and more milestones are expected to be achieved in the coming years. 3D printing companies claim that the meat they produce tastes just like the real thing. However, since the product is not yet available for large-scale consumption, this claim cannot be backed up just yet. Nobody, not even vegans, would be interested in eating make-believe meat if the taste doesn't add up, no matter how accurate the meat's texture or other physical qualities are. While there is still some skepticism surrounding the taste, perhaps the technology has earned a little credit considering how far it has come. I mean, if the Japanese Weiyu beef can be replicated perfectly, we would just have to trust that they have the taste part on lock as well. Would you be down to try 3D printed steak? I'd try it, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Leave your answer in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.